all right so come to pv tech and in this particular video i'm going to show you how you can actually reset your dst explorer to factory default and then actually format the hard drive so maybe you have done some recordings on your explorer decoder and you want to format everything all you got to do is to pick up your remote and you press on the dst logo that's the blue button on it which will take you to the menu so when you come here you use the arrow left and right keys on the button on the remote to actually look for settings so when you find settings you come down to the system settings and you press ok on it and beside it you come to the second option that's the reset decoder settings and you press ok so when you come here you need to come down to the last option that's the reset to factory default and then format the hard drive so which means everything on the decoder will be gone it will be like a new decoder that you have bought all right so you press ok on it and then you confirm press ok if you really want to format it you come to the second option that's the format decoder and then you proceed you press ok on it to actually proceed so after that all you have to do is to run the installation with it to actually get back your channels all right so after formatting the decoder you have to run the installation with it on your expired decoder to get back your channels so all you got to do is to proceed with your preferred language so we are going with english you press ok on it and when you come here you have the satellite option so with the satellite if you are living in the listed countries on the right side of the page that's Botswana, Malawi, Mozambique, Namibia, South Africa, Swaziland and Zambia, Zimbabwe you have to select the satellite that's the IS-20 and if you can't find your country in this list you have to change it to the E-36B alright and you proceed with it you use the same steps you press OK when you come here select the manual setup that's the second option you press OK on it and come here the LMB type have to be the unique OTM so I start CR and then you have to make sure that on the right side of the page the signal strength and then the status over there have to actually show that there is a signal before you can proceed to scan so you have to press ok on it if there is a signal over there then you proceed to scan your decoder so after scanning you'll get back your channels and everything on your decoder as a fresh decoder all right so if you find this video helpful in when you're here all you got to do is subscribe and hit the bell icon you'll lose absolutely nothing by subscribing thanks for watching